In the constantly changing world of fundability, the big question is this. How are entrepreneurs and real estate investors like us, ones who want to grow our businesses and who are tired of paying for really expensive alternative lending, how do we tap into the most inexpensive money available and do it without the hassle of typical borrowing? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. Welcome to the Get Fundable Podcast with your host, Merrill Chandler. Welcome, everybody. Merrill Chandler here, your host of the Get Fundable Podcast, and welcome to the Get Fundable Universe. So in this episode, we are going to be talking about, uh, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. We're going to be talking about false, uh, you know, kind of t- kind of skeezy offers, right? Credit offers, um, deception in advertising. But now I'm pulling out the big guns. And if you are going to be able, if you can watch this on getfundablepodcast.com, watch the video because I'm going to be showing you reams and reams and reams of applications that in one degree or another all have kind of this, if not deceptive, than misrepresenting the truth about the credit offer. So in just a moment, when we come back, we're doing a deep dive on just the skeezy world of credit card and credit non-credit card offers. See you in a minute. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Merrill Chandler, your host of the Get Fundable podcast. And today we're talking about Ah, deceptive offers, subtleties that subtleties that because we believe one thing, lenders and even non-lenders, shysters, fraudsters want to uh, want to dissuade us from true personal credit, business credit, and move us over into an entire realm that is worthless. But because we don't know the rules of this game, you guys. We start and we end up succumbing to these types of endeavors. I got got a couple examples to share with you, but it's not okay. You, it, it is not okay. So let let let's get started here with. Uh, uh, let me pull over something on my screen. So many of us get credit card offers in the mail. All right, and these credit card offers become extremely. They're, they're designed to look very, very, very attractive. And these credit card offers usually will have words like, you've been qualified, you're qualified, you're pre-approved. And they use deceptive language to make it look like that the list that we're on fits that credit card or non-credit card uh, criteria, right? And, And the point that we're looking at in all of this is that because we... You because you've been lied to, and because we've kind of been the uh, the the industry has misrepresented all of this. All of these different credit card offers can speak to us in a way, and we think that it's legit. We think that it is. Hey, this might give me a chance to restart my credit, and it's all BS, and it ends up harming us even more. All right, so. The adver- so what we're looking at today, the advertising that is deceptive. Now, if we don't know the truth, then we are going to be susceptible to all kinds of different things. So let's take a look then at our, uh, uh, let's look at, uh, let's bring that up now, Sky, and take a look at one of the things that is uh, seriously, that no joke, is it, it an ad- a typical advertisement. But if you look carefully, you're gonna we're gonna outline some problems. Listen to the language very carefully. You could pre-qualify for the surge MasterCard with no impact to your credit score. All right. So we're like, wow, it's a MasterCard. How cool would that be? Then surge card holders enjoy the following business a, a benefits: monthly reporting to three major credit bureaus. You're like. That makes it legit, right? That makes it legit. Fast and easy, secure application, quick response. Okay, that's easy. Shop everywhere, MasterCard is accepted. All right, we got to look at this now, you guys. 
because MasterCard, as we discussed in a previous episode uh, of the of the podcast, MasterCard is a credit card processor. Banks in the bottom right hand corner, just like it has down here, and you look on that credit card surges in the top left hand corner, but the MasterCard symbol is covered up by by uh, that by the thumb. But MasterCard, we're like, this is legitimate. Well, guess what? Your debit card can have a Visa or a MasterCard uh, 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 logo on it. Prepaid cards can have a MasterCard or De uh, or Visa uh, logo on it because that when you swipe it, that's what process, that's the organization, MasterCard, Visa, there's also American Express and Discover could be the logo in the bottom right-hand corner. That is what allows you to swipe the card and collect the data, make the charge, and then some money goes to the credit to Visa MasterCard for processing. Some money goes to Surge in this case, or to the bank if you're using a legitimate a credit card. Fees go to if you're using your bank debit card, it goes to your bank. And then you're able to make your purchase. But you guys, this is a secured card because there's no impact. There's no, there's no inquiry. You simply send them 300 bucks, 500 bucks. They make a secured card, but it's not a bank card. And if you've been to my boot camp, you know the tier one, two, and three are the types of credit cards that we want to have, preferably tier one. And this is a tier four offering. It's a, offered by a, uh, it's offered by a finance company, and that finance company is tier four, and you have to put money on it for them to be able to give you a credit line equal to the money that you put, or a credit limit equal to the amount that you put on deposit. But notice you could pre-qualify is the language they use for the Surge MasterCard. Surge, we want it to say Wells Fargo MasterCard or your local community bank or your local um, your local uh, uh, credit union. Surge is not a depository institution. It's not a bank. It's tier four, but this, but because it uses the MasterCard logo, if we don't know that that's just the processor, we think that it's legitimate, you guys. We ha have been lied to, and we believe that MasterCard is what makes it important. There's another group out there who do, uh, there's a credit repair group out there who does very similar things. They're like, we'll get you a $5,000 MasterCard credit limit. And it's a jewelry store owned by the person who's marketing and they give you they give you a $5000 credit limit to buy their jewels at 10 times the price that they bought those jewels for but you but they report to all three bureaus so it must be a good thing and it's not you guys these deceptive these deceptive offers these deceptive practices are are not going to help you build a fundable uh, credit profile. So in every way, you guys, um, we want you just to be aware, be aware there. You're going to get, uh, oh, and there are groups out there who say that the higher your credit score goes, the more offers you're going to get. And that's a sign that it's working. But if you've been to my boot camp, and if you haven't been to my boot camp, then you need to learn this stuff, right? But if you've been to my boot camp, you know that offers are actually the opposite. They're trying to put you on lists that actually lower your credit score, lower these being on these lists actually count against you. And yet people out there just because they're willing to, they're willing to lie to you either two, two facts exist. They either don't know how credit works. And so you shouldn't pay attention to them because they don't know how to play the game themselves or they're 
they're trying to get you to buy something and they're relying on your ignorance or that you don't know how to play this game. And so they are, they are ruining your profile without telling you that they're doing so. So you guys, in every way, be, w w number one rule, here's your action items. Do not respond to credit card offers. If it doesn't have a true depository bank name, it's still, it's hell no. If there's not a bank name, but if it has like Credit One Bank or Synchrony Bank or Elon Financial, those are still tier fours, even though they say the bank on it. That's why you need to get empowered with the information so that you are making good decisions. So yeah, it so a perfect example. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. See these? I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of credit offers hundreds and hundreds this is just this is just one month hundreds of credit offers every one of these guys right oh here you go here you go boom 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 hundreds and hundreds these offers business and personal do nothing for you they even send you, look what they do. They even send you a little cards. Here's one, save $250, right? Funding circle. There's there's a little plastic card for you to use. Next one, here's one. Another, oh, another funding circle. They, they won't let me go. Here's one on deck. Here's a card. They send you a card to make it look like, hey, this is a this is like I can use this card for this, for this business credit, this personal credit. Here, PayPal, PayPal business. We learned that PayPal business now reports to your personal. If you went and filled this out, help your business grow. But if you if you got one of these, Elon Financial now carries the book on those um, on those uh, carries the book for PayPal, and they report to your personal. You guys, I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. Go to get fundable. Yeah, go to get fundable podcast.com so that you can see the video of what I'm showing you. If you're listening to this, you can't, you got to see how ridiculous this is. And every one of these offers represents a, a non bank, non depository bank tier four. Every one of these, not one of these, every one of these financial, financial, financial on deck, financial funding circle. Every one of these represent you guys, a tier four inquiry and a tier four is, and, and most of them report, not all, but many of them report to your personal. If it's the business, you, we cannot be deceived. You guys, we just, we just can't. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, do not be deceived by, they want to make you feel special by giving you a personal code, right? Uh, let's look at, let's look at even some of that language, right? Oh, two ways to activate, go to ridgeviewfunding.com cash or call. And then they want you, and then they want you to use your, your, uh, the, the special number, right? To activate, here's your call. And then they give you a number to do so over here. Here's Capital One. Oh, look, they even Lending Club. Lending Club sends checks. Oh, would you like 10,000, 20,000, 40,000? And then you have to input your you have to input the special code, right? This is this is crazy. And then uh, th there are some, but this is Capital One and guess what? Capital One Business Capital One Business reports to personal Every one of them does the spark card, etc. cetera. So um, let's, what, what else have we got? Jora, here's another check. Oh, don't, Jora, we all know who Jora is, right? Joke, JK. And they're saying to get started now, here is your, here is your, um, here's your special code to put in, right? Pref oh, oh, I feel special now. Look at this one. Preferred preferred status certificate 
for $35,000. I feel special. I feel super special. My, my entire thing came in from when I got approved, it was a $50,000 business line of credit from, from, um, from, uh, Wells Fargo tier one business doesn't report to personal all of these. And this is a, this is discover discover loans. You guys, we cannot. Uh, oh, and here, oh, look at this one. Here is the, per, look how complex that is. The longer it is, the more important you must be. Look at that personal uh, focus, focus. Oh, I'm going to come closer. There we go. Look at that personal ID number. There's like 16 digits there. This, this is, th th there's like 16 digits here, you guys. Look at that personal ID number. That's crazy. But what they're trying to do is if you, you work for it, it must be valuable, right? So every one of these, every one of the American Express, M Main One Financial, there's one. Oh, look at that. Up to $10,000 Express Loan Card. Like that, it, that makes all the difference in the world. So if you respond to these offers, you are you are literally hobbling. You're you're limiting your 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 credit profile, and you're getting finance institute finance rates. Right? We don't want finance company rates. We want tier one, tier two bank rates. All of this can be avoided, you guys. All of it can be avoided. But remember. They're going to try and get you from a number of different areas. One is the Visa MasterCard, but it's not a real bank. Or they're going to get you a tier four bank like Synchrony or Elon Financial. If it has the word finance or financial in it, it's automatically a no-go. Main, main one, one main financial. They're one main finance. It, it, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Ascentium Capital, uh, tier four. Maybe it reports to your personal, even though it's supposed to be on business. So we have got to protect ourselves, guys. We've got to protect ourselves. More on this in my boot camp, getfundablebootcamp.com. You guys, it's always a pleasure. I'm glad you could join me for this episode because, like I said, I, it just it gets me right here, right? When you've been lied to and we don't know the truth, and so we are just doing our best to get by and and looking at sources of capital to grow our businesses, to improve our personal profiles, and we don't know where to go. And everybody's trying to take advantage of the fact that we don't know all the rules. So binge my podcast. There are so many rules that you get to cover and become a professional borrower. You, be, I'm, I teach you in the podcast how to become the perfect bank customer so that they want to lend to you. This is Merrill Chandler, your host of the Get Fundable podcast, and I will see you on the inside. Thank you for listening to the Get Fundable podcast. Please leave comments because Merrill would love to read about your aha moments from this episode. And be sure to visit GetFundable.com to read our blog, get important links, join our community, and much, much more, like ordering Merrill's tell-all book that is changing the world, The New F Word. And you got to tell your friends about this podcast, because we want them to get fundable too.